Hey guys, this is Garys, and welcome back to another episode of Survival Overdone. Um, firstly, I have to apologize. In a previous episode, I said at this point, Welcome to Factorio. This is at this factory. <laughs> at least I did edit in. Oh, sorry, hit the mic. Um, at least in edit, I did notice that again. And I did put a notice on the a, on a screen. So if any satisfactory Dave coffee stain or whatever hears that, I am sorry. It was not a <laughs> not really intentional. Well, not not really. It just it wasn't intentional. It's just that uh, I have Factory on my mind so much, and I still also want to play Factorio. So the two I think just combined, and I said Factorio. But welcome to Satisfactory, guys, and we are continuing the craziness. That uh, <laughs> so um, I finally started combining the resources. To, from the mining side and from the old factory into a one massive Mark II factory. So basically everything inside is mostly set up and I buy mostly uh, not really. <laughs> so let me quickly go show you what's happening here. Oh wow these two are done. Okay great. That means I have space for other ones because there's limited space in this small factory for sending the things out. So we can pick this up and we can pick this up and this, up, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. So we are sending six resources at a time. We will take these resources at the later stage. I'm already taking the concrete, but I'm taking it on the outside. Maybe we should take everything on the outside in, at least I clear the buffers, yes, maybe I can do that. So I'll do that off cam, I won't waste time with that on, on cam. But I figured out something amazing. Let me show you guys. If you want to merge these two, like I did kind of over here. <laughs> no? You saw I, <laughs> I broke that line and I put a stack of mergers over there and I put the extra line from this side. Yeah, I was stupid. You don't need to do that. You can just look at the line and you can put a merger on the line at any spot you want. So that makes things so much easier. So you can put it there and you can... If you already have... It just merges. It's just magic. <laughs> So that saved me a bunch of trouble of trying to reconfigure the lines. So all that I did is just put a bunch of mergers on the sides of everything and from everything that comes in from that side it just joins and it works. It just works. So that is awesome. I love it. So we can clear this and we can clear that. And that means we just get the normal original line coming in and out. So we can take this one away. I accidentally, when I come on, when I brought the reinforced plates over and around to join onto this line, because that means that one is done as well. Awesome. Um, I accidentally hooked on a normal plate line and it kind of merged <laughs> together reinforced plates and normal plates plates sorry um, so as you will see the line went funky over here because I'm bringing it straight from there up because of this line that was in the way so let's quickly fix that while we can this one what something still in a way barrier belt is too steep I don't know what you're talking about man I'll just go there okay so plate is going up again so this actually looks pretty neat 
Uh, from from this point on, <laughs> it looks neat. There is, oh well, that's such a mess. <laughs> so, yeah, we're not producing too much of the the reinforced plate. So I'm thinking of leaving it over here and bringing it in. So since the sixth line is going to stay, I had to think of another way to um, the ones we make make on that assembler. The reinforced plates that we make on that assembler still needs to go into the storage unit. Oh, and also I just put a short conveyor belt so that we can see on each unit what's exactly stored inside. Oh wow, that one is full already. Oh wow! <laughs> so that means we have one, two, three, four, five containers full. So that's 120, I believe, right? 48. Right, this is 48. So that's 48, it's... 48, 48, it's 96, and that's 24. Yes, 120. Ah, my math does not suck too much. <laughs> okay, so I bring in the plates here. And it, all the three triple windows is the outputs. So that we have three outputs when and if needs be. So just future reference for for future use. Maybe we'll go down and out and take it to the other building or something. Maybe the middle one can just basically come straight down or whatever. We'll figure it out once we need to. Okay, then the plates goes up to the first um, assembler that makes reinforced plates. They take plates and screws. Okay. So it, the plates goes in, and the screws is our third resource. So it goes out over there, and it goes up and in there. So this is actually in the middle of a two assemblers. So inside I have a splitter, because the next assembler uses screws and rods. It makes rotors. So I thought, why make a mess of all the... Uh, what do you call it? All the conveyor belts on the outside, having two lines from here, one going there, where it should have been, and the other one going there, where it should have been. So, yeah. Yeah, but in any case, so, um, so it makes less belts from the outside, so we just added some more belts on the inside. So the screws go splits and the rods split. The second one is a rod. At least we have a lot of them already. So that splits too because the rotors uses rods and the next one over there uses the frames also use rods and the frames use heavy plates that is stored in that in a six container six th 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 th. so and that's why we produce plates and we send it to the belt taking it over there and also it's coming from from the other side at the um, assembler assembler spots basically to put it that way so originally in the other mark one factory we just had it go here and immediately go to the line there was no secondary input so now there's two inputs for one um, storage container so I don't think we've anywhere close to filling it yet let's just double check see now we can actually see exactly which one is which so this is awesome that's only two not even two stacks that's almost full that is full okay that's good yeah well it should should be full if this one is almost full because this is a pre-buffer for this buffer and this is a pre-buffer for these two buffers so that one naturally will be empty okay so let's quickly go up to the assembly line so that was the routing outside and the buffer storage at the bottom So this is fun doing this logistics. I like doing it. We'll get to this split just now. So here's the first split. The first thing that comes in is plates 
and screws for the um, reinforced plates right screws and iron plates makes sense okay and this one oh we haven't selected the recipe it's a rotor uh, it uses rods and screws so here's the screws and the rods also get split because this one uses rods and this one uses rods so this one is unfortunately being <laughs> only getting second and good from both so this is how it looks this secondary input would have been here for screws and this one sec primary input and secondary inputs would have been here but then also I would have split had to split it on the outside and bring it in again and this one as well the screws if it went to the first assembler it would have split outside and come in here as well so I just think this makes logistics on the inside a bit or on the outside as well a bit cleaner um, splitting it on the inside so I will try to do that with as many of the assembly lines as possible but unfortunately this is the uh, re the frames so it takes plates and rods okay so the rods comes from the split and reinforced plates from the, there right yes reinforced plates the next one should be a stator and it takes pipes and wires so can't pull from any other sides okay you know what we can do we can if we wanted to maybe do this oh we the power line is down away but what if we did that so this one outputs if we make wait the frame is over there so this is a stator Ah, not stator yes stator and okay now we must make this one rotor not rotor motor and then we bring in the rotor from that side so actually we should have been doing that there not have that one and then we can I'm just showing you what we could do I'm not going to do it so this one takes that one brings now rotors over so we must make a motor over here and that one produces status and we must bring it over here in the same principle let's see if we do this let's see if we take you up oh no you're not going to like that a lot But you know what you can do is take a s splitter. Now this is input, so you can't do that. Wait now. Okay, so that one brings in there. This one brings in there. Of course, this one takes out. So we can put another um, splitter right here. Bring it down there. Okay, that one looks ugly. N actually, no. No, 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 no. Put the splitter there put this thing there turn it to the side ok 
Okay, now we must work this out properly. Okay. Okay, so that one takes input, right? So that means this will sync up. So now we take this one. <laughs> yeah, it's cheaty. Or oh, cheeky rather, it's not cheaty. Oh no. Why not? Why don't you want to do that? Let's do this way. <laughs> okay, this looks way conf more confusing than it needed to be. So, but then it pulls from the inside at all times and doesn't pull from the buffer floor that we actually want. So this one, but actually it will go out to the buffer floor. But why is there a buffer floor that has outputs? So, nope, scratch this. <laughs> We're not going with this. We're going with our original idea. But that could work. You guys can use that. That's a very feasible option if you guys don't have as much patience as me to struggle with everything and all the routing and things outside so you can just pull it from the uh, inside ah, that will work okay so let me continue the rest of the um, logistics and routing of all the resources and unfortunately we still do not have the milestones resources I'm planning on having it ready once we have this up and running but we in any case need plastic so maybe we should do that let's not waste any more time on logistics I'll do that off cam. Let me get things ready and we will go get set up for some plastic harvesting. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, guys, we are at the oil fields. I just wanted to show you guys my bridge. It's already too wide. I was I decided to making it three wide. Only had a few more. Um, I actually did a few more now while we were here. So um, only had enough for a couple of more foundations, put them on that side and I raised it about one or two more so that we can <coughs> fit it. Uh, let me show you rather on the ground than trying to explain something that you probably might not understand with my explaining. So before it came down about three or four blocks back. So it came into the ground here and then there was some placement issues and encroaching on another's place and all that jazz so yes and also i saw over there there is another node i have not checked what that node is yet so i was thinking let's go check it out together so let's quickly do that of course it's a new resource so i'm not sure what it might be check it out uh, while I was building up there I had a platform running here so I just placed on this side and to make a bridge obviously see it's different it's a black color I wonder if it's that max or what was that the alien something alien mixed alien resource or something yes Sam Sam oh it's a pure node as well Sam, something alien, something, <laughs> if I remember correctly. I wonder if there's something else. Okay, we need to see if we can maybe find um, some coal close by, just in case. Front of 50 meter that way, so right over there it seems. No, that's too far. Okay, so we need to get a some sort of power over here. Oh, I forgot that I did not. Oh, I just didn't fall myself to death. Okay, so first of all, we need to place a oil pump. Let's 
also gonna get some ice. See we what we have to work with. It's one there, one there. So I think for now, only one might be sufficient. And then we need to build over there, get some coal and get that up and running. Maybe over there. And the refinery. Wow, it's actually huge. Okay, so that should be fine. Let's see how much it needs. We need to be efficient this time. Wow, that's a very huge noise. Let's see, okay. It produces 120 per minute, same as normal mine. Um, yeah, we can't use fuel yet. So plastics, it uses 30 per minute. Okay. 60 per minute and rubber 30 per minute so 30 between 30 and 60 so we, we can have one fuel production going so long one plastic and one rubber production but it uses 50 power each so that means it's 50 50 50 it's 150 and this is 40 so it's 200 power okay seems like I have to go run back and grab some more concrete <laughs> we're running out of concrete so that we can get to the goal let's quickly see let's get some height quickly see if we <coughs> excuse me let's see if we can work it out a little bit better I just want to take this away just to make sure I have enough resources to build all that. Wonder what that is. That's not the coal, right? I believe that looks almost like copper. Uh, it's not copper. Copper is over there. Okay. Is that a coal? Nope. Coal is right there. Okay. Is it possible that we might be able to place from this distance? Invalid aim location. So that is close enough. That unfortunately is not. Hmm, how many of these can we make? 300. I believe we have enough to get it over here. Let's see. I want to see if we can make it without running back. Oh, it's such a far path. Um, goal is over there. So let's go out here. Sorry for the glaze of the sun. Okay, so if we can take from there to there, from there, from there to, okay, from there to there, to there, over maybe to there, to there, there you can just put the I brought enough resources for a coal power plant as well and there's some broken stuff so we might actually be able to salvage something that we might need um, we need to make a miner come on not even close enough for that let's see how close we can get I don't think we'll get too much I'm sure we placed. 
now we need concrete. <laughs> I'm gonna salvage some from this. Oh, we can actually go grab that concrete as well. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. No! Oh! Oh, it doesn't fit on that. Just need five left for a uh, miner. <laughs> he was. Uh, it's bad if you you don't want to run back. Oh, there's more coal over here. Oh, there's a bunch of coal over here. One, two, three. Oh wow, that's good. Because I have another plan for power generation. And if there's three coal veins here, my plan might actually work right here. Okay, if this is not enough, then I'm not sure what to do. It's enough. How are we going to get power to it? I did not think this through, did I? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. If we put the miner there, let's just see. Nope, too far. Let's just try this quickly. Power. I'm sure I took enough for generation. Is this a merger? So we want a splitter. So you go in that way. What was the number three? I can't remember. Oh wait, it is. I remember. Isn't there a zoom function? Okay, <laughs> now how do we give it power for a second? Um, okay, I think our only option is to run back, get more resources, and come back. I will see you guys in a sec. Okay guys, massive changes. I moved the coal generators up there, and I came down looking for coal because I forgot coal at <laughs> base and I'm not running back. So, I uh, see there is at least a few coals available to us. I think if we can just get a handful, we can kickstart the system. And then we should be good. Just wanting to put some. Uh, what do you call this? Conveyor belts here. I forget, get, keep forgetting that you can change your height on this thing. And then we need conveyors. There we go. So I'm going to th this. This was my idea that I had. So we put a, all those generators over there. We can basically move over here. We can put ten and ten on each side, and we can move over to this side, 
and this can be basically our power generation so that will be a massive amount of power so before we do that uh, we just need to get more power poles just trying to see which one let's keep going with the same theme we had on the other side Okay, that one won't mean anything, but I actually want to move this away or move, oh, change how it operates because I want the power boxes facing forward. Nope. I want a bowl, please. Thank you, and another bowl right there. Okay, now we have a power line from there to there. You go there. You go there. Okay. So, we might have fuel. Or power. As soon as we have power, we are set. Okay. These power plants only generate 50 power per minute. So, I'm not sure if that is sufficient, though. But we'll see. Let's see what we can do. I only have a Mark 1 generated at the moment. Because I don't believe for now necessary I will upgrade it at the later stage yes we made it haha <laughs> we good we good we good hey we can ride the oh, this upward bam <laughs> so only a handful how many did we need oh well not even a lot so we literally could have just grabbed one or two and it should have been fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and we good. And there we off. Oh, it's only a Mark 1 generator. But this should be sufficient, I believe. So, um, we will... Be having generators. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, and also I completed the walkway. It's now three wide, excluding this one. This one piece. So now, we need to pull power. So I am just for the sake of making it quick. Because we already ran out of time. Why is too long. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm crouching on another clearance. How is that possible? Okay, you know what? Then we might as well do this. want to be difficult we'll sort you out quickly okay back to power line we do have enough resources almost thought that could be the reason here we go and then from you we're going here from 
you we're going here. And again the same. Two here. Sp split you up to three separate lines so that we know we're good. You can always move them and make them look better. Okay, how many power are we generating at the moment? Hundreds. Okay, so we should be good. Wow, that's quick. So let's send you there. At the moment, we only want. No, 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 no. This. Okay, because we need the plastic. Power line to you just for now. Now we can get some plastic up and running. And we can upgrade or make computer computers in the next one. Okay, so let me just quickly run back quick. I'll see you in a second. Actually, no. We need to put a storage container. So that this can run and run and run and we will sort it out. So how many do you produce per minute? Three plastic per minute. No, no, 22.5. Hi? Oh, three plastic is every operation it's free plastic. Okay, so now we'll get you <laughs> a bit further down the line. Let me show you how the bridge looks. Okay, quick update. So there's a power generation. The bridge is three wide up until this point. So we are progressing quite a lot. So I don't know if you guys can remember, we went up and down on this um, walkway before, but now it's a straight shot. So it's unfortunately just one wide at this moment, but I'll upgrade it off cam and I'll show you once we're back. So um, just running a little bit more, will you bring you right back in again? Okay, we're on the other side and just showing you this is how it's going to be. It's going to be three wide. Even though I think I said in a previous episode it's going to be two wide, I decided three wide and we can have a resource coming down on this line. I'm freaking hearing stuff and it's making me nervous. And the power will come down in the middle of this line and on this one we will have our fast traveling um oh, what do you call it fast traveling belts back and forth so what will happen is probably pretty much What I'm going to show you now. So one will go up, the other one will go down. So we have a quick travel both ways. So I will in the next episode I will do three timed runs. Okay. So one will be the long way around till we add the oil. From the elevator to the oil and then one straight through the shortcut and then one on our belts but I'm what I actually want to try and get the um, mark four belt belts down first or maybe we can check that out yes maybe we can already unlock it maybe I don't know what it cost yet we'll see the next one but maybe we'll do a three time the three and then we do the four in an episode after that after we can actually um, afford doing it this far how um, many ever blocks it is I think it's easily oh it's 2000 kilometers so this is I believe how big is it 8 by 4 meters no oh, wait 1 meter by 8 meters so is this 8 meter to here So this means this must be 
four per block. So there's 500 blocks since this is eight meters. And it's 2,000 kilometers. 2 kilometers away, which is 2,000 meters, divided by 8. Uh, now my math is for failing me. <laughs> Earlier it was good, now it's failing me. Let's see, 8. 4 is 500, it's 250 blocks. Nah, that's not 250 blocks. I'm guessing this is 4 meters. This is not 8 meters. Because if I'm if the player character is almost 2 meters long, now this is four. One, two, three, four, five max. But in any case, it's at least five hundred blocks, um, foundations. Five hundred, and we need four per foundation. So five. So it's two thousand one way and two thousand other way. So it's four thousand that we need. So that means we need four thousand uh, steel beams. If we for Mark 3 traveling. So I think it's going to be a while before we go to Mark 4 traveling, but it will be done. It definitely will be done. So in the next episode, we are going to race ourselves. I'll record the three, put timers on, and maybe we should do a split screen, three side by side. Or do one side by side, and then we do. After that, we do the, the um, belt traveling together. We'll see what happens. But we're already way over time, guys. I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's get to our spot. While we're getting to our spot, um, I just want to remind you guys, please remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this episode at all. Um, yes, it's a lot of grindy this past couple of episodes because there's so much to do. There's so much time in between parts of videos in between episodes itself it's actually every time it's a couple of hours actually and um, this last part between the first part and the last part was almost an hour <laughs> if not longer actually it could be a longer but it's taking a lot of preparations now running back and forth is the biggest thing that's why i want to put down the conveyor belts because that will making traveling back and forth just so much easier and I am definitely going to do that in the future as well. And we need to time the um, retractor as well. But I want it to run on, a, on the um, bridge because it just takes too much fuel. Why do we need retractor? If we're going to use belts, tractor is not necessary. But we'll, in any case, test it just to see what it does because it looks awesome. Any guys... Um, Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave me a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Check the description for links to all my social media and websites and all those. Come check out anything, any one of them. And also come join us on Twitter, guys. Come have a chat with us. And if you are an ARC player, feel free to come join our public ARC server. We are busy modifying and editing ARCs. And hopefully it will make things a bit more interesting. But in any case, I hope to see you guys in the next one again. Cheers!